Ring, ring, ring. Postman. Who this? Jerry the worst. so boom welcome back to my channel you guys if you're new welcome my name is jerry and today i'm going to be showing you guys how i turn my one week old crochet braids into a different hairstyle using a hip wrap so um basically i'm showing you i had my hair i was in the midst of doing a tutorial on this hairstyle when i realized girl you've done this hairstyle before and a tutorial for it <laughs> So now you got to change it up. So right now you're just seeing me transitioning out of that hairstyle. I took the front braid out and made a flat twist instead. That way it lays nice and flat um, when I tie my head wrap on top. So <laughs> after I was done doing my loose as a goose little flat twist, it looks horrible, but it didn't matter. I pinned it down with a little um, pin and then I moved on to putting my scarf on. So the first thing you wanna do is pull your hair all the way to the front, right? So after that, I'm going to take my hair, pull it all the way to my forehead, make sure it's just sitting up there. I'm not putting any pins in. Then I'm gonna take my yellow scarf and pull it at the back of my head. And then I'm gonna fold the top part of my scarf because it makes that little triangle and I don't really, I don't really want that right now, right? And then I'm going to tie my scarf in front of my real hair. I'm not tying it too tight and I'm not tying it too loose because keep in mind, we're gonna be tucking the uh, fake hair through this scarf in just a second to make our bangs. So what you see me doing right now is kind of hiding my real hair a little bit obviously if you're not doing the same hairstyle that i'm transitioning out of you won't have this issue but i did so i kind of had to hide my real hair underneath the scarf but now you see me pulling the scarf up in the back just making sure everything is nice and neat back there and then i'm going to take both sides of that hair and push it through the bottom part of that scarf where i made the knot at making sure i'm not pulling my hair to the front while i'm pushing the fake hair through okay okay dang <laughs> I feel like I said that way more complicated than it actually is. But now I'm literally just going to be manipulating the hair um, and just trying to figure out where my bangs are going to be at and how big I want my puff at the top to be. This hairstyle is pretty free. Like you can do whatever you want with it. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to let you guys watch me figure this hairstyle out. <laughs> I, so boom, I lied. I'm actually gonna be telling you guys a little bit of tips here and there that I kind of figured out while I was doing this hairstyle for a good week or so. Number one, what looks good in the front may not look good in the back. Through trial and error, going outside and seeing it looks nice in the front and then like, you know, my friend's telling me to fluff out the back. Make sure you have a mirror that you can like see the back of your head with and make sure you're fluffing that thing out, boy. Secondly, I wanna add my own little opinion here. <laughs> because I think it matters uh one you see me cutting my hair right here because I want to add that sparse like one little curl sticking out the uh puff ball type of look I don't recommend cutting your crochet hair if you literally just got it because the lifespan on this hair is so freaking long and there's so many things you could do with even old crochet hair you're kind of losing the possibilities when you just cut it straight straight out the box you know so if you want to do the same little sparse curls here and there that I was doing use bobby pins bobby pins will get you the same thing you just got to make sure you're fixing them up in the morning so now you see me using my second scarf and this is an infinity scarf that i got from the thrift store all the scarves in this video are from the thrift store you guys um and they were like one dollar a piece so with my infinity scarf same process i made sure the back was nice and straight and smooth then i looped it around my head twice and i took it towards the back and twisted the back part of that scarf and tucked it in underneath the scarf that was already laying at my head just to make sure it was nice and tight and tucked and that was my second little hairstyle it looked really cute it was a good transition <laughs> and then for my third and my final scarf this was this scarf was a little bit more stretchy um and loose so i kind of just wanted to do a regular schmegler pineapple bun at the top of my head um, so I just pulled all my hair towards the top and pulled that scarf back a little bit pinned my hair in place and that was it you guys my real hair stayed hidden throughout this entire freaking hairstyle I don't know how because I barely used more than like five pins but it happened <laughs> so without further ado thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe tell me which one is your favorite look and I will see you in my next video oh don't forget to send me pictures on Instagram okay okay bye Looks.
looks. I be giving looks. Fashion week in New York and I just got booked. Looks, looks. I be giving looks. Fashion week in New York and I just got booked. Looks, looks. I be giving looks. Fashion week in New York and I just got booked. Looks, looks. I be giving looks. Fashion week in New York and I just got booked.